Hello, and welcome back to Banana Republic Adventures. Uh, today is February 13th, and we are up at Green Ridge State Forest again. We're actually trying a new site. Sites 65 and 66 are um, closed. They seem to always either be closed or taken, so I don't know if I'll ever get that uh, Site 65, but uh, the lady, the actual station was, ranger station was open today, surprisingly, and she said to go to uh, 85, past that a little bit, and then there's a site that's unmarked that we can take, um, and it's right on the water. So we're going to go check it out, see what it looks like. She said it's, um, it is dirt road, it's off-road, you have to have an off-road vehicle for this one. So uh, once we get there, we'll kind of let you know how it looks. See you then. Official spot. That away. Back in there. And then we're going to the spot that she said. I think. Which is more. This really is not that bad of a road. Anybody could get down in here. And to be fair, she couldn't see our car from the. Uh, yeah. I mean, office. Yeah. She didn't know what we were driving. Yeah. This is it though. This is on a concrete slab. Oh, well, I mean, that's a good place to park. Because mm -hmm. there's a nice little spot for the tent over there. All right, we're here at the spot on this very, very nice little riverbed. Yeah, and it's not even cold out. Yeah, it's warm, temperate, yeah. perfect Maryland weather, when <laughs> Maryland weather decides to be perfect. Right. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. This is a good spot. And it's not a marked spot, but it's next to 85. 85 is where you have to pass it. And then there's a big concrete slab, which we'll show you later. Um, we parked the car on that, and we put the kitchen set up there, but I'll, we'll put our tent like, right up here against the water. <laughs> nice. Very nice spot. All right, so we uh, made camp. I don't know if it's going to be too windy or not, but uh, we've made camp. Jordan's finished off his lunch. We stopped at Burger King on the way in. Uh, here is the campsite behind us. There's the car up on a platform. Uh, there is the bathroom tent, and there is the big gazelle overlanding tent. Um, this site, again, is not a registered site. It's not a, a marked site. Uh, 85 is kind of back that way, back that road. Uh, but the lady at the ranger station said, hey, there's one just a little further past it. She said there is a concrete slab. Uh, we didn't obviously use that for the tent. I just pulled the car up on it. Um, but that it was right next to the water. So here is the view from the tent. You can see that pretty big uh, creek river kind of running through here. So um, I'll probably go down in a little bit and take a look around, but yeah, you can see there's the tent. So it's, it's a pretty good view. And we turned it so that we could sit in there later this evening and just look right out on the water. So. But that is that, uh, starting to get late, later, I shouldn't say late, but it's getting later. Uh, I'll start dinner in a little bit. We brought steak and potatoes, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. So, um, and then of course we've got some goodies to eat too. So we'll hang out here and, um, just relax a little bit since we got everything set up and then we will get back with you. We might even, might see if we can cross the river, but it is February. So it's probably pretty cold. So. I'm not promising anything. We'll see. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so we're making steak tonight and we're cheating on the potatoes, but we're making uh, some loaded baked potato, uh, Idaho potatoes powder. So you gotta boil the water, got that going. I've got the steaks already going. Got two steaks, one for each of us. Pretty decent size. So flip those over now. Keep it going. Get a nice, good close up of them juicy boys. Yeah, they look like they're being pretty good. So, Marty and I, who used, comes with me, is uh, we found this at the grocery store. Um, it's a uh, yeah, it says 14 miss, uh, spices, so it's actually pretty good. Um, so, recommend it. Uh, just sprinkle it on. I already did the other side, so we'll just kind of do the same. It's a mosh pit of many different flavors. Exactly. So, but we tried it uh, some time ago, and it was actually pretty good. So we thought I thought I'd bring it this time and um, use it on today's steak. So we'll get these cooked up, and then we'll probably turn everything down and uh, get in the tent. It's kind of the wind is coming and going. So, but we will uh, clean up after we eat, and then yeah, hang out in the tent for a while. All right, dinner is served. We are having steak and potatoes. Did them out on the old Coleman stove. Uh, Jordan take, took over for a little while at the end there for me. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready to eat dinner. And then we might play a little chess. We got some cookies here for dessert. Um, Marty kind of hooked us up at the grocery store with those. That's pretty awesome. This is how we know she loves us. Yes, uh, chocolate peanut butter pie Oreo cookies. I didn't even know they made those. I didn't either. They look amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. So, so yeah, we're going to get in it and um, enjoy dinner. And sun's uh, behind the mountain, so it's starting to get a little darker out. And then uh, after we eat, we'll probably wash up dishes and stuff and get set up. We'll, we'll get back with you. All right, so dinner's done. <clears throat> um, we washed up a little bit in the creek and then used our kitchen. Uh, that kitchen area that we were cooking food also has a sink. So we use that to um, rinse off the, the dishes and stuff. Wind's kicking up a little bit. It's supposed to calm down this evening. Um, we do have a heater over here, a big one, and a propane tank that goes with it. So it gets too crazy. We'll probably turn it on before we go to bed. Because it's supposed to get down in the upper 30s, which isn't too bad. But anyhow, we're going to have a couple cookies that are really good. Mm. Here's the pictures that we have, and then we're getting ready to play a game of chess. And we brought some Angry Orchard. Um, we both like ciders a lot, so grabbed some and brought with us. But it's um, always nice when you can have one or two without passing out. Right, and plus we're not going anywhere, so exactly. why not? So anyhow, um, we will probably uh, end the video for tonight, and after we play our game, we'll get in bed, and then uh, we will be back with you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. It is February 14th, uh, Valentine's Day, uh, just happens to be. We're going to head out today, get home, uh, see loved ones and all. But uh, Jordan and I are getting ready to brush our teeth. We've already started to, uh, we've already started to uh, set up our breakdown, I should say, camp. Um, everything inside is pretty much cleaned up. We have to get uh, the vehicle packed. And then we're going to head down <coughs> this road here and kind of see where it goes. Um, I don't think we've been out that way before, so we'll see what that looks like. I don't know how long it'll be. Uh, we'll try and catch some video as we go, um, and then we will get back to you all. All right, uh, we're all packed up, cleaned up our site, leave no trace. Um, we just actually saw another vehicle come by. We haven't seen one since last night um in the evening there was a fedex truck coming down this yeah road. that I, was very confusing i don't know why a fedex truck was down this road but who it's, knows maybe it'll be on the nightly news i don't know what the deal was his suspension was screaming in pain yeah it was it was bad um anyhow so yeah we're gonna head up the other road um a direction we haven't been before we're gonna let jordan drive a little and i'll do some camera work okay so we're just north of um site 80 and the road continues up, but off to the side here, there's this, this abandoned old brick house, concrete block, it looks like. So 
instead of driving in because it's just right off the road. I'm gonna walk in, take a look. Obviously, people have been in there. Just tons of trash. We'll take a peek. But I'm not gonna go in. See the ceiling's all falling in and there's trash everywhere. Unfortunately. Not sure what this was. We'll see if we can't figure it out. But the creek is actually off that direction. Can't see it from here, but you can kind of hear it. So, anyhow, not a campsite. But it's just, um, sorry, west of 80, Site 80, uh, in the Green Ridge State Forest. All right, so on our uh, little adventure here, we've been coming down a gravel road, then we ended up right alongside Route uh, 68, which I thought we would be able to get on, but that is not the case. Um, this road branches right or left. We're gonna go right, which is an overpass across 68, and then we're gonna take a left, which then takes us to National Pike. So hopefully some more back roads, but we'll see. Yeah, we don't have good enough suspension to get from the bridge to the highway. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no way down there. So uh, that there is bad. one, but it'd be very fast yeah. with a very short stop at the bottom. Exactly. So we're going to go across this little bridge and I will turn the camera around so you can see it. All right. So here's the road. We were on mountain road that to the left is cat road. I think this continues as mountain road, but we shall see. And there is, like I said, the highway that is route 68. So, here is where we are, crossing over the bridge, and we're going to take a left, because to the right it just ends, so yep. we looked on the Gaia maps, which if anyone knows me, I use Gaia for backpacking and overlanding, it's a great app if you don't have it um, for off-roading or four-wheeling or camping or backpacking. So. But this will take us back away from the highway here in a little bit, and we'll see where it goes. We're supposed to go out to um, National Pike, which there looked like there was a little parking area, so maybe a visitor center or something. So, but we will get back with you. So this is the road on the other side. This is doesn't look very steep. It's not too steep. It's probably 45 or so, maybe. Maybe not quite that. But it's up. Um, doesn't look like this area gets driven too much, but we'll see. Some of this beautiful scenery. Yes. It's very nice. Yeah. A little hard to see. It's like we're getting a little higher, though, so maybe we'll see some more. Yes. That's what I figured. We were getting some elevation, so maybe we'll press yep. the mountain. So we are... Our ascent is, we're at 1,275. at an angle where you can see the road and the blue skies, the trees. Fortunately, most of the scenery is masked. 
yeah. by woodland. Well, that's my favorite thing about winter is you can actually see distances even through forests. Yes, you can. In the summertime, you can't see through all the greenery. Yes. But the greenery itself is quite it's very pretty. Yes. We're still climbing. Yeah, we're still climbing. Look, a piece of metal in the shape of a gate. Yeah. Where the heck? Where's that lead? Up to the top, it looks like. Yeah, we might be a. I don't think there's any power, fire towers around here, but it's been cut off for whatever reason. Huh. Stranger things have happened. Oh, we got power cables. Look at that. Electric up here. That's interesting. Maybe somebody lives up here. Or there's a station. Uh, we're heading towards the, uh, the uh, exit. Yes, that's why. Yeah. The map has given away the answer. Yeah. Boo. Supposedly, there's a building. Yeah, there's yep. a building there to the right. Yep. Oh, power station. There we go. The tower and some buildings that you can see. Satellite towers and stuff. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we have radio. Why we have cell signal. Yep. We can sort of see over the, uh, over the top of the mountain to the other side. Sort of. You can kind of see out this side if you want to look. I do a little bit. Not well, but you know. It looks cool. Yeah. You can almost see some buildings through there. And here's yet another cell Another cell, cell tower. Yes. It makes sense to put them on top of mountains. Yep. Coming up on an overlook station. Uh, yes, civilization. See buildings. Uh, this running water. Is this, that mu this is okay. I think this is the. Um, it is. This is the hotel. Oh. Uh, it's a hotel bed and breakfast. It's a historical place. It looks like it's empty. Uh, I guess they probably have rooms available. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll pull off here and park. But yeah, there's the overlook. Pretty sure this is a historical place. Town Hill. All right, we'll get out. Oh, man. I see okay. a lot. Town Hill Overlook, a beautiful spot in Maryland. I won't read all this, but I will pan back so you can pause it and read it yourself. But the hotel that is pictured in the bottom left is actually right behind us. Here is the overlook. We'll get up close. Wow. So this is the Town Hill Bed and Breakfast, established circa 1916. Very beautiful building.
You can see it wraps around. There's the upstairs. I'm sure those are all the bedrooms. It's closed right now, so it must be closed for the season. And then back there is like a big picnic area you can see. And then I'm guessing these are the uh, the houses for probably the people that maintain the facility. But yeah, pretty neat. I'd seen this on videos and stuff. Never been by it. I'd like to stay here one time. It looks like a really, really beautiful place. And then across the street was where the overlook was. All right, well, thank you for joining us. Another episode of Banana Republic Adventures. Uh, today we stopped at the uh, campsite next to 85. Mm -hmm. um, again, ask the rangers at the station uh, for that site if you're interested. There's also, um, we cut across the highway and went in towards like 80 and 81. 81, I think that one was the one on the water, right? On the creek? Yes. It was 81. Yeah, that was a nice site. I'd stay there. Um, doesn't look like a lot of people go down that way, so it definitely was a secluded place. So, But uh, thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.